Hey besties, what's up? Ooh, it feels like a party every day. Hey, just say. Oh my god, the leg is like kind of good. Not gonna lie. And I know I didn't like pee myself on my shoulder. My hair was like wet and then it was drying and then that's why my ring fell off. Oh no. Anyways, can I shut up? Apparently not. Today, I'm so excited to film this video because today I'm going to be trying a shifting for the first time and I've never done it before. And if you don't know what shifting is, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, shifting is where you, this is like your current reality. Like Ava in her bedroom, this is the current reality. But you can trick your subconsciousness and then make yourself into your desired reality. So you kind of like go into like different places. You can go to like different like moves places, places in books, places in TV shows. It's pretty snazz. I don't even know if it's like a thing. Like I saw, like I have a lot of doubts about this thing, but then everyone was like, it's okay if you have doubts. Like everyone has doubts, but you just need to like do it and then you'll realize the power. Something crazy like that or something. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. I honestly think I could either be like really good or really bad at this because I mean, if you clicked on this video, you can probably probably tell that I'm kind of like my personality, my energy, all over the place. I can't really focus for like more than two seconds. It's kind of an issue and maybe like why I'm not doing too good in school. <laughs> but I also like, oh, I, guys, I always feel deja vu. I don't even really know what deja vu is. But like I'll have these like experiences where I'll, like a, someone will say something or I'll be like literally just walking and I'll be like I have done this before. Is that deja vu? I don't know. But nonetheless I don't really, I'm just so excited to get into it. Okay, transition. Okay, we're now sitting down. Pencil and paper in hand. And we're gonna be writing a script for like my character. Like I literally need to become the person I wanna be in my desired reality. A lot of people like, they have like different like movies they go to and so many people go to Hogwarts. But guys, don't kill me. I've actually never seen Harry Potter. And I'm sure someone someone's gonna say it. Yeah, I'm wearing a Gryffindor sweatshirt, which is like one of the houses in Harry Potter. Don't come for me. I just thrifted it. I just wear it to bed usually but it was like the only sweatshirt I could find and then I just threw it on. Anyways, so then it had me thinking, where the heck do I wanna shift to? And then it hit me. I was like, Outer Banks. We're going to the Outer Banks, people. So I'm just gonna use this template. I found this template on Wattpad, which honestly, this seems right up Wattpad, Dadly. So we're gonna make my name Cassidy Robertson. I was a girl in the village doing all right. We're gonna make me 17. And my birthday is going to be, I think if you're 17, your birthday is 2003. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick mess. Okay, I just finished writing my script. It's right here. There was like a lot more like stuff that you could have written down. Mine's like not that detailed, but I didn't really, like, I don't know. I didn't like feel like too like inclined to make my script very detailed because first of all, I'm kind of lazy. And second of all, a lot of places said that you didn't even need a script, but like scripts like help you visualize. So like however detailed you want to be is like guidelines you have for your visualization. But the one thing I did want to like mention was that you have to have like a safe word and I think that's like if you shift you have to have a word that if you say that word you'll be like back in your current reality so my safe word is chicken McNuggets I don't really know why but I just thought it was funny it's not funny as a humor of five-year-old the next thing we need to discuss is how I'm actually like going to shift and I was doing some research and I think I'm gonna use the Julia method because a lot of people said it was the most effective for them I'll leave like all the video links like down below that like have helped me out with shifting or taught me shifting. I'll leave the one that taught me the Julia method.
Okay, everyone. So basically, I just finished my homework and I listened to the subliminals or whatnot. I was honestly kind of annoyed that I had to listen to subliminals because normally I would be able to be like jamming out to like Rex Orange County or something. But I listened to my subliminals. I did what I had to do. And then now I'm actually going to do the shift thing. So I did all the preparing. I think I'm going to grab my script and like put it under my pillow because I've heard a couple people talk about that. I'm alive, but I'm dead. Hi, guys. So, it is next day. I don't know why I didn't film this yesterday, but I just kind of forgot to. But I'm going to give you my little experience, my shifting. Did I shift? What was it like? Did I feel symptoms? And long story short, to cut to the chase, not to keep you, like, waiting, I didn't shift. But, honestly, I still have a lot more to say about this experience. Going into it, I didn't expect to shift, like, on the first time. Like, a lot of people try for, like, months and months and months. So, like, shifting on the first time, that's, like, mm-mm. Miss Ma'am, no. But it is possible possible to shift on the first time so I don't want to like discourage you because you're never gonna like get started shifting if you like don't try the first time so basically starting off I listened to subliminals like I was supposed to and honestly guys I'm kind of skeptical about the subliminals I don't really think they did anything it was kind of just like relaxing music like I don't know I wasn't really feeling it I don't know if it did anything maybe it was like going into my subconsciousness and giving me the powers to shift I don't know maybe it was but honestly like straight up I don't really think I feel like they did anything Thing. but in contrast to that the meditation I literally loved it obviously like meditation doesn't only exist like through shifting like people meditate daily like if you're like good with like self-help and self-care that is not me but the meditation like I've literally never felt like that calm and I actually I wanted this to work so like sometimes if we do like meditation in school like I don't really care I'll just like yeah yeah like yeah. But like this I wanted to shift so I had like motivation to do the meditation The meditation was 10 minutes and then I recorded me shifting so I could see how long it was Rod shifting for 18 minutes 18 minutes? That's such a long time I don't know how I had the focus to lie down on my bed for 18 minutes and just think about shifting I'm proud of, proud of that and I do not think it would have been possible without the meditation So I definitely see like why they tell you to meditate and now let's Talk about the shifting so basically i did all like the steps i kind of was like worried because i was scared i was like gonna forget like the step and like i i don't think i did okay so the first like thing you do is you start with affirmations so you do like i am shifting i have the ability to shift like i was really trying to focus on the affirmation but i feel like i wasn't like truly believing the affirmation because i still have like so many doubts about like what shifting is and shifting in general so i was really trying but i feel like i was kind of getting sidetracked track but when I really did like hone in on the affirmations I did kind of feel the symptoms so the symptoms are that you're supposed to feel like you're floating and you're like detaching from your bed and honestly I didn't like necessarily feel the feeling like intensely but I kind of like I think the issue was I would kind of like feel like lighter in my body and then I would think about how I'm feeling lighter in my body and then I would just like almost sink back into my bed and like realize that no it but you're in your current reality you're not in your desired reality so i would just like the doubts would like overcome and they would just stop the symptoms so then i just started going into the next step which was counting to 100 and i like that step even though maybe i wasn't supposed to try it yet because i didn't fully feel the symptoms from the affirmations i was still doing it anyways and then the one to the hundred i was also feeling like the symptoms and then i said the affirmations like i am blah 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 and like all my characters and stuff and i I think that's kind of when I like snapped out of it and I was like Ava you're not shifting you're like in your bed and there's a camera on a tripod right there I think that was the other thing that hurt me I wanted to film it because that's kind of the whole point of this video to like show you guys my shifting experience but like knowing the presence of the camera and the giant tripod is like right there it just kind of threw me off so I think that's about all my shifting experience let me know if you like have tried it before if I was doing anything wrong thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment subscribe if you haven't already already and I think that's it. Bye!